In this video, we're installing the Arkin C8R style deflectors. This is what the car looked like beforehand. The change is gonna be right around this area down here. So I'll show a before, or this is the before right here. I'll show an after real quick, and then I'll show you guys a video of what I got of what everything looks like afterward and my thoughts as a whole. So here again is the before, is what everything looks like. And the after looks just like that. So you can flip back and forth between them. That's pretty much what they're looking like before, after, before again, and after. Just wanted to show that the install process was extremely simple. Hope you keep watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. All right, so we got the deflectors installed. This is what they're pretty much looking like in daylight. I think overall they look really solid. The install process was really simple, and I think they match the paint. So yeah, overall they match the paint pretty good. Like, I mean, actually exactly. You can't even tell the difference. But overall, they look awesome. So if you can't tell, or just to kind of give a little bit more detail, all these are is a piece right here on the car that wraps around and then juts up. So this whole bottom orange piece was never there. Basically that whole piece right there. And then this black piece is also new right here. It covers up some stuff. And then this has all been blacked out. Um, previously, like those pieces, right in there were orange and so you put a black vinyl that matches the carbon uh, the carbon flash everywhere on those two pieces and then you pretty much just take the splitter off put those on put the splitter back on and you're done it was a really easy install process we jacked up the car in the garage and, and did it and it was all pretty simple i think it looks great it's supposed to mimic uh, the C8R race car a little bit and maybe a little bit of the Z06 but I think it adds a totally different look to the front end I think if you know the car and you are familiar with the front end of the car you can tell the difference pretty quickly but it still looks really OEM it doesn't look weird or tacky in my opinion I think it looks really nice it pulls the front end of the car together especially with the back end of the car and th this is the thing like why I wanted to do it is the back end of the car has the spoiler, the exhaust, it looks way more aggressive. Even having these um, like mud flaps basically make the back end of the car look much more aggressive than stock. The side of the car has these nice side skirts that add the aggressiveness. And then I had the front lip, uh, front splitter, but it still was lacking like the real aggressiveness that I wanted. And I think this really did it. So I think it looks great. Um, this side, Looks really solid with the vinyl. I don't think you can tell if there's any bubbling, maybe like a little bit here, but I haven't really squeegeed the rest of it out. And over time they'll come out, but you've got to get like way, way under here to even see any orange here. I think we did a really good job. Shout out to my wife because I'm horrible at doing vinyl. I put these plastic pieces on, but I could not do the vinyl. So that side looks good. This side also looks great. Um, there were some videos out there where like, you could clearly see because that black vinyl right here this is all stock it's orange all this right here is all orange up into here so we basically just put a vinyl and black this all out and in a lot of videos you could see the orange just from standing like right here i can if i cock my head a weird way i can maybe see some orange under there but it's it's really difficult it's not easy to see i think as long as you take your time with it you find a good honey to do it for you <laughs> you're in good shape but overall i think it looks great i'm definitely going to do some side side by side comparisons if i haven't already done that um but i think it looks really solid really clean i think this side looks really good i think if you didn't have a splitter it would still look fine the splitter here on the side kind of covers where it juts out but like i said I, I love it because it looks oem it looks stock i was talking with uh one of my best friends and he was saying that like yeah when you mod cars i think the best way to do it is to do it in a way so it looks oem still but it still adds some flair and aggressiveness and i think this did it perfectly arkin overall was amazing with their support so i really recommend them um this is a color that was like i had to request it's not like a standard color like they have like a black or i think they had blue sebring orange is one that i had to request and i love this color so all in all i think it looks great i think it ties the car together like I said, adds the aggressiveness from this wing, which is still freaking amazing. Um, the carbon flash matches perfectly, even from the roof. 
to the spoiler and everything else, you can't even tell. If you didn't know, you would think that it was stock. But if you know the car, if you're familiar with it, I think it looks awesome. So I'll get some side-by-sides and whatnot, but this is pretty much what it looks like. Let's get some of these. Ooh, like that looks sick. Definitely looks more aggressive. But overall, I think it looks really solid. I think it makes the car and the front end look a little bit more aggressive. So those are the Arkin C8R style deflectors. Overall, they're awesome. I'm really happy with them. Arkin's support was also amazing, so I will link all their stuff below in the description. And one thing I did forget to mention is that they're actually functional as well. So they're not just a cosmetic piece. Um, I believe at 80 miles an hour, they add about 7% of an increase to airflow into the front radiators. Nothing crazy, but it is nice to know that it's not just a cosmetic piece, it actually does add functionality at higher speeds. So I'm sure at a track day, you're gonna notice that. If you put those on and you're driving over 80 miles an hour, decently consistently on those track days, you're gonna notice a 7% increase. You maybe get lower temperatures, everything will be better. I'm not totally sure, but it is cool that they're actually functional and they're not just a stick on piece without any total functionality. So I guess it makes me feel a little bit better and it is cool to know that. So I really appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want me to add any more mods. I've still got a couple more things coming for the C8. Still got a few more things I wanna do. I'm thinking about potentially lowering it. We'll see. If you have any recommendations, let me know and I'll see you in the next one.